um, some of, I don't know if you could talk about this or not, but some of the people that were on the video that you released the video, they got some backlash from friends and family. Can you talk about that? So generally the way people tend to silence is shaming. Shaming is very, very powerful. So uh, people don't come out as ex-Muslim because they're concerned about how they'll be shamed, how their families will be shamed. Yeah. This is what honor culture in general does. So I do something wrong, perceived to be wrong, as such as being an ex-Muslim. My parents will suffer the consequences. My sisters, my brothers will suffer the consequence. And that's sort of what enforces those norms. So with one of the persons, they were on the video and somebody, a family friend, went and then told their mother and other friends that this is going on. In a sense, trying to shame them. And all, that caused a huge rift between them and, and their family. Um, and this is somebody, the person that did it is a well-established um, upper class American Muslim that, that is involved with a lot of social work with Muslim communities. And he's the one that is doing this. So this is more than a moderate Muslim, it's probably a liberal Muslim, but, and he is engaging in this honor culture in America, trying to shame people. People try to public, uh, people try to, these people that were on the video, some people, there was some backlash to it, which, show, which is an indication of what, the, what e even, even the ex-Muslims that are out, they have to deal with a lot of shit from their family, friends and family. But go ahead. So the thing is, yeah. if your parent is accepting of you, then what will happen, which happened in this case, is your parents will be blamed and shamed by other members of the community right. or to coerce them to stop the child. Right. So Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.